You don't know her. She had this grasp. Once she had you, she just never let you go. She just had this way of making you feel guilty about anything you did which she didn't want. I didn't love her. I never did. But I did care for her. And I never wanted to hurt her. So to avoid hurting her, I never faced her. I just left her. You were not man enough to end it. That's not it. I was afraid of her. Afraid of what? What could she do? She would have killed me. <laughs> I don't think she would have, man. Even if she said so once, man. It's just all talk. She never threatened me, on the contrary. Every time we talked about separation, she acted like she did not care. And like she would just move on as if she didn't love me. Whoa, wait. So why didn't you just leave her? That's stupid. No. Even though she spoke those words, I knew better. Deep down, she had me in a cage. She knew it, I knew it, and she knew I knew. And these false words were just a desperate attempt of making me believe that there was no cage. But there was. And I know that if I had tried to escape, she would have killed me. I can feel that she had it in her. Either you were paranoid, or she was psycho. And if she was, how could you care for her so much? You believe in astrology? No, not really. Neither do I. But I do find some interesting patterns and coincidences sometimes. I do not believe in it as a correct science, but more as a guideline or a hint. It can be very surprising to see how sometimes it's dead right, and other times it's dead wrong. Why are you telling me this? Astrology has this way of using facts to support the science. Like the symbols or animals that inspire the different signs. The scorpion, for example, is an extraordinary creature. It can be one of the deadliest predators and is fierce and dangerous. But when it is trapped with no chance of escaping, it will stab itself to death. Huh? How does a fierce, full, and dangerous predator become suicidal when trapped? It's in its nature. But the interesting fact is how the Scorpio sign can sometimes fit its symbol. On the bright side, they are talented, loyal, resourceful. But on the dark side, if they feel trapped, they can be quite self-destructive. And they will drag everyone and everything they love down with them. So, Rebecca was a scorpion, huh? No. She was a cancer. So what the fuck with the science expo, man? Nothing is black or white. No one is completely evil or completely good. On the bright side, she was the sweetest and most talented person I had ever met. She was so talented in fact that she made me convince myself that I loved her, using all my emotions against me, my guilt, my fears, my loyalty. She used everything like on a chessboard and just kept me right where she wanted me. It took me a long time to realize that. The worst thing is, I do keep a very happy memory of the years we spent together. Jesus, man. You think too much. Maybe it's all in your head. You thought about that? Well, I did the math. If that was the case, then she deserves better. But I do not regret leaving her. That's fucked up. What about what she wanted? Unfortunately, my dear friend, for a couple to work, it is required to have both persons to agree and to be on the same page. In the end, no matter the reason, as long as one is uncertain, the relationship is doomed. What an easy and cheap way of taking out all the responsibility. Think what you will. You can't judge what you don't know. Oh, I ain't judging. I'm just making my own opinion. And that's called judging. Well, I don't give a fuck what you think about, and I don't give a fuck if you give a fuck about what I think about. Well, what I just heard. You dumped your wife because you were insecure and unsure about your feelings. And you weren't even man enough to face her. In my opinion, that ain't right, man. And that's it. She deserved better. So you're saying it would have changed everything if I had told her to her face that I didn't love her? Not everything. But it would have made a difference. For her, at least. And for you. Don't tell me there ain't no part of you that doesn't feel guilty. Of course there is, but again, I did the math. I had a feeling she was unstable, and would have done something drastic, and I think she would have been capable of trying to kill me. And even though I don't think she would have been able to, knowing that she would have tried, yeah, it would have made a difference. A big difference. Hmm. 
Right. I'll go check on Junior. Do you need a lesson on how to remove someone's scalp using a pencil? <laughs> 